Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters and soon to be brothers and sisters I hope or haters what's up I'm sorry I didn't post a video last week I've been so busy with work I couldn't find any time and I was so tired so sorry but bear with me these next few months are going to be really busy for me and I'm going to keep trying to post but inshallah inshallah I can do one every week um, this week I want to just talk a bit about our struggles as Muslims in this time because I feel there's so much temptation and like evil coming at us from every different direction that it's really difficult these days I'm not gonna say I'm perfect because I'm not and none of us are I think even sheikhs and imams they do minor sins and uh, Allah he expects this from us anyway so don't feel so bad about yourself or give up hope that you can be a good Muslim or go to heaven, Jannah, or anything. I'm, we all make mistakes and the best thing about making mistakes is getting to apologize to Allah and to try to learn something so it's not a mistake, it's a lesson. Um, my friend posted something on Facebook the other day that I really loved. Um, basically it said, when you're having a hard time and you're looking for Allah and you can't find Allah anywhere nearby you, just think about it like when you're taking a test in school. Is the teacher next to you giving you the answers? Of course no. He's there letting us figure it out for ourselves. So don't feel alone and don't feel lost like if you're in a hard time and you feel like nothing is there to help you because you may not see it or feel it but for sure Allah is close to you as long as you're always remembering Him. Um, I also want to give some advice to my friends, my sisters out there who are having a hard time with hijab. Uh, I really respect one, he's not even an Islamic scholar, I guess he kind of is, he, he's working in an Islamic institute in America and he did a full Quranic study in English. And I really love the way he simplifies Islam to make it like we can understand it today. So basically like a bunch of sisters were asking him why they should wear hijab. And he put it this way. He didn't tell them because Allah says, because, 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 no. He just said, if you can remember the struggles that the Ummah and the Sahaba and the Prophets all did before us, and, you know, Abraham salam, was asked to kill his son and to leave his wife and son in the desert without anything, and I don't think any of us in this life will ever get asked to sacrifice so much for Allah. So to cover ourselves or you know to not go to the club or whatever is your hardest sin to avoid then I think we should really think about what happened in the past and compare it to what we have to do now and I think it'll make things look a lot easier for us. So I hope my advice this week helped inshallah and um, just want to say to all the people who send me hate messages <laughs> Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Ya Allah, inshallah, I pray that you are all guided. And I pray that Allah, God, same thing, <laughs> forgives you. And um, just know, like, I forgive you, even the bad things that you say to me. In my heart, I truly forgive you. So inshallah, this is enough to let Allah forgive you also. Everybody take care and try to do something nice for someone this week. Ma salama, go with peace. Allah be with all of us.